Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Christy and today I have a small grocery haul for you and a meal plan for July 30th through August 5th. I hope you'll subscribe before you leave. If you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up and make sure you comment below because I love to talk to you guys. Make sure you stick around till the end. I will be adding some bonus footage. Okay, this is going to be a really short grocery haul and I'll explain why. If you are new to my channel, I am addicted to these. I just went ahead and bought the big pack at Walmart instead of the little packs at Dollar Tree that I've been buying. We'll just skip right on over that. I picked up just two bananas um, because they had been going bad. We still have apples and oranges. I pick those up usually at Aldi each week because they're cheaper and those are like a midweek thing. This is sort of a weekend grocery haul. So I picked up those. I picked up one of the Oikos Greek yogurts and this is in the key lime flavor. And I also picked up some of the La La yogurt smoothies. They have five grams of protein. This one's the Pina Colada and you get four. These three items were, I bought a rebates. So I went ahead and picked those up. Um, if you don't have an iBought account, I will leave my referral code below so you can join if you'd like. And on your first qualifying purchase, you will get uh, $10 extra onto your account. But I'm addicted to iBought at this point, so there's that. And they also had their rotisserie chickens, um, which are usually $5, marked down to $3.00 and some change. So I went ahead and got one of those and I want to use that to make crunch wraps this week. It's one of the family favorites. So, and then this is the Kroger things that I picked up. I picked up two milks. One's already in the refrigerator being drank and I picked up some of their flour tortillas. I like these because they're larger than the normal tortilla flours, flour tortilla shells, and it's easier to fold when making the crunch wraps. And I think they're only like a dollar 49. And then I picked up some of the Kroger cheeses. These are the 8-ounce variety. And they were on the $5 digital coupon this week. So they were only $1.49 a piece. Picked up two of the mozzarella, one of the Italian, and one of the Colby Jack. And I also picked up one of these dull chopped kits. This one is the Chipotle cheddar. And it was marked down to $1.99. I always pick these up when they're marked down like that because me and Chris usually eat them for lunch. Again, super quick and I didn't have to, you know, buy a ton of stuff this week for groceries. We are eating out of the pantry and freezer and let me show you what's going on in there. And this is the reason our grocery haul was so small this week. I still have some frozen sandwich thins that we need to go through. I wanted to try those since they're frozen and I've never done it before. We still have the I bought a fries that I got for free, and we have frozen hamburger meat, tater tots, some buns in case we do hamburgers this week, and let's see, we have rice, oh these are lunches right here, Preston eats the tea, chicken tiki marsala, garlic naan, and rice for lunch. Um, I still have those meatballs because I made spaghetti, but we didn't do spaghetti and meatballs. We just did spaghetti. So we're going to have spaghetti subs this week. No. We're going to have meatball subs this week. Still have a rice from Trader Joe's. Two things of fish sticks, biscuits, ice cream. <laughs> and these are just lunches. Inside the fridge, here's the snack drawer. And all that boar's head turkey pepperoni I stock up every time I go. Um, Riley still has yogurts left. And we have some cheese and some snack fulls. I still have the one pack of the banana chocolate chip bagels left. These are delicious toasted and with peanut butter. So we've been eating on those for breakfast. Inside the drawers we have a salad left and a few veggies. We have our apples and oranges in this drawer. And I have a half a pack of the chicken left over, the diced uh, chicken breast from the chicken ranch chipotle pasta salad I made. So I'm gonna use the rest of this chicken to make an Italian pasta salad for us this week. Still have some of the English muffins left and this is the maple French toast. These are so good. And I've only ate like two of them. 
but they're really good. And I have Okay, while I'm sitting here at the pool with the kids, I thought I'd go ahead and go over our meal plan for this week. This is July 30th through August 5th. This is my children's last week before they head to school. It makes me extremely sad. <laughs> okay, so on Monday, I'm going to do homemade pepperoni pizzas. We'll have sides with this, veggies, and... Um, fruit but I just wanted something really quick and simple because I have a lot going on that day my mom has to have a procedure done and so we'll be at the hospital a lot that day so we're going simple that night on Tuesday we're going to do hamburgers fries macaroni salad and fruit I want to get rid of some hamburger meat and buns that I froze and of course we have tons of fries and tater tots in the freezer I need to get rid of and they always love a macaroni salad. Okay, so on Wednesday the 1st, we're going to do meatball subs and veggies. I'm waiting till Wednesday on this one because um, my Dollar Tree gets the bread truck in on Tuesdays. So I'm hoping they'll have some sub rolls. I know they will. Um, so that we can make meatball subs. So that's why I'm waiting till Wednesday on that. On Thursday, we're doing the copycat Taco Bell Crunch Wraps again. We will have refried beans and other sides with this, but this is our main meal for that day. These are a huge hit, and I make them at least every other week, sometimes every week, because the kids like them so much, and I know I'll have leftovers for Friday. So that's what we're going to do there, is just carry this over and have probably Crunch Wraps may have probably have meatball subs too left over so you'll have your choice here on Friday on Saturday I'm thinking it's just going to be me and Chris and we'll probably just do the pasta salad I'm making an Italian pasta salad and I had some leftover chicken that I wanted to use so I'll go ahead and make that up probably Thursday or Friday that way we'll have it I like for my pasta salads to sit a couple of days before we eat them then on Sunday, we're having cheesy chicken pasta casserole. We'll have broccoli, another side, which I'm not sure of yet, and rolls. And then I've just wrote down some lunch ideas for the week of things that we have at the house. I have some Tyson canned chicken, and I like to make chicken salad with that so that we can just throw it on um, croissants or bagels. Um, we have tons of bread right now. And um, also deli subs for the week. It's pretty simple. And that is what I have planned for the week of the 30th through the 5th. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.